Just going to take a minute here to talk about uh, a special kind of variable called a register variable. In some C compilers, uh, when you ask for a register variable, you you really would get one. And, and that could still happen today, uh, depending on the platform that the compiler is on. By the C standard, though, a compiler does not have to give you a register. Usually, in today's world, there just aren't that many registers available for your use. And the compilers are honestly smarter than we are about how to optimize and when to use a register and, and when not to. Now, if you're doing some programming, embedded programming, and you're writing code for an automobile or an appliance or some small device like that that you have complete control over the the machinery, uh, you may very well be able to create uh, one or more register variables. But in today's large operating system compilers like uh, the Windows, the C++ that we're using, and, and the uh, GCC on, on Linux, you're not likely to get a register. What you are telling the compiler, though, in today's world is that this will be a high-use variable. It's something that you're going to rely on a lot. You're going to use it in a loop or something like that. You're going to use it for some uh, timing. And the point is that you will be putting information into it, incrementing it, decrementing it, somehow dealing with this variable quite a bit. Uh, again, uh, you're telling it it's a high use. You're not guaranteed to get a real register. And here's just a quick little stub to show you how it works. Open brace, register int r equals zero. And here we're going to use it a hundred times and, and print out, uh, the value of r. No big deal, obviously, but this is how you say that you want to an integer to be stored in a register. Again, absolutely no guarantee that you're really going to get a register, but what's the harm in trying? The compiler will just ignore you and go on and will use the registers for what it sees fit.